When I originally planned him, I wanted him to have problems. The one thing that my publisher felt no hero should have. But I think the average reader can empathize with him and could say, gee, yeah, I've, that happened to me. Sure, I know how he feels. You know, he never had enough money, had trouble with girls. Uh, he, the way I would write the stories, he'd be as apt to have an ingrown toenail or dandruff as anything else. And I tried to make him as human as possible, not just a guy who says, you won't get away with that, you rat, you know, and just you know, give him a life. When I was a little kid, there were many characters from different franchises that I simply adored. Like Superman, Batman, the X-Men, Fantastic Four, the Hulk, freaking Buzz Lightyear. But none have come close than your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I don't remember exactly what my first exposure to Spider-Man was. Part of me tells me it's the 90s show. Part of me tells me Tobey Maguire's films. But all I know is I fell in love with this character. I played almost all the video games. I collected a lot of the toys, even the ones from Mexico. I watched all the animated series. I watched all the movies in theaters except for the first Sam Raimi Spider-Man. I collect a lot of comic books. I even have Spider-Man toilet paper. I remember constantly going into my mom's computer to check on any news on Spider-Man 4 before... You know. I remember dressing up as Spider-Man for Halloween three years in a row. My first comic books were reprints of the Stanley Steve Ditko Spider-Man run. And if I behaved well in school, my mom would give them to me. I remember them being the first appearance of Doc Ock, the first appearance of Vulture, and the first appearance of Sandman. As a kid, the main thing that gravitated me to this character was his costume and his powers. But of course, as I grew up, it was more than that. There was more to this character than just being cool. This character is just like me. This character was shy and awkward, just like me. This character had money issues, just like me. This character had somebody in their life that taught them about responsibility, just like me. The reason why so many people gravitate toward this character and his stories is because he's just like us. A normal person with a normal life who struggles, but at the end of the day, he gets back up. This character has gotten me through so many difficult times in my life. There were moments in my life where I felt lost, where I felt like nothing was going the way I wanted. My future was going to be a disaster. All these negative thoughts that I had... And I would always remember that specific scene with Aunt May and Peter in Spider-Man 2. That iconic motivational speech that she gives to Peter to come back as Spider-Man. Everybody loves a hero. People line up for him, cheer them, scream their names. And years later they'll tell how they stood in the rain for hours. Just to get a glimpse of the one who taught him to hold on a second longer. I believe there's a hero in all of us that keeps us honest, gives us strength, makes us noble, and finally allows us to die with pride, even though sometimes we have to be steady and, and give up the thing we want the most, even our dreams. Spider-Man is a symbol of being hopeful, being kind, and being strong. That's why I've been very critical on the latest run on Amazing Spider-Man by Zeb Wells. Because they completely shit on the character and everything he stands for. And the cool thing about this character is that we see him grow up. We see him go through high school. We see him go through college. And we get to see him go through marriage. And as someone who has experienced two-thirds of that, it feels like I'm growing up with this character. And another reason why so many people love this character is because he's a friend. Hence the name, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs>